Project Veritas recently put out uh, two videos that claim that voter fraud is a huge problem. That voter fraud happens through ballot harvesting in some states. In fact, uh, this message was further spread by, unfortunately, uh, Democratic Representative Tulsi Gabbard, um, and she wrote legislation along with another Republican lawmaker in order to end ballot harvesting, even though ballot harvesting helps people who might not have access to transportation, who might be elderly, who might be ill, allows for them to turn in their absentee ballots or mail in ballots through a ballot harvester. That's just a person who collects the ballots and submits them for people who wish to vote. Now. Turns out that the Project Veritas video that was cited as evidence by Tulsi Gabbard has been debunked, as many Project Veritas videos have been. In this case, one of the subjects in the video came forward and said that he was bribed and that he was allegedly offered $10,000 by community activist Omar Jamal to say he was collecting ballots for Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. So um, it's clear from the video, by the way, that uh, Liban Osman is actually working for his brother's campaign. Um, the Project Veritas video used two separate videos of him posted on Snapchat while driving in his car to make it appear as if he was illegally picking up ballots and offering money for votes. In a video from July, uh, Liban Osman said he was collecting mail-in ballots from sick and elderly voters who had requested them through the campaign. Osman denies that he filled out the ballots or altered them in any way. He said what appears to be open ballots laying on the dash of his car are actually the envelopes the ballots came in. He said voters were concerned about identity theft and asked him to shred the envelopes. And also despite his boast that he had 300 ballots in the car, he said the actual number was closer to 20. So um, there were other parts of the video that that were that seemed to misrepresent what was really going on. The community organizer Omar Jamal is now changing his story. He had originally made it appear as though there was money being exchanged for these ballots, but now he has changed his story. In a second report from Project Veritas, surreptitiously recorded video shows a man receiving $200 in pocket money in exchange for his agreement to vote for Ilhan Omar. But two sources tell Fox 9 investigators the man is a relative of Omar Jamal and that during the encounter outside Cedar Riverside Apartments, it is Jamal who's handing the man $200 which was intended for the family of a sick relative in Somalia. Look, long story short, the video misrepresented what was really going on. According to one of the subjects in the video, videos, he was bribed or offered a bribe of $10,000 to essentially say that he was collecting ballots on behalf of Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. That turned out to be, you know, that part of the video ended up to be untrue based on what he's saying. These are things to keep in mind because again, there is absolutely no, 0%, no evidence indicating that voter fraud is a widespread issue. There's certainly no evidence to indicate that ballot harvesting leads to an increase in voter fraud. For any of the right wingers who hate watch this show and you argue that we need to provide proof that fraud doesn't happen. No, that's not how things work. You need to provide actual evidence that voter fraud is a widespread issue. When you claim that something is happening, you need to provide evidence of it. And cooking up some propaganda videos that misrepresent what's really going on is not evidence and is certainly should not be cited by members of Congress as evidence. So this is a Fox station breaking this story. And we'll put the link down below if you're watching this later on on YouTube and Facebook. Make sure you read the story and get all the details for yourself. And you should always verify stories no matter where they come from. Now I would say especially Project Veritas, but look, there's a couple of problems here. One, Republicans don't mind spreading lies at all. Uh, they're actually super happy to do it because they know that it goes, you know, in the old paraphrasing old quote from Mark Twain, it goes around the world before truth gets his shoes on. Um, so, um, and the mainstream media, you cannot just report anything Project Veritas does without adding 
that almost everything that they have done has been debunked. Uh, and, and highly edited videos, manipulated, and oftentimes they offer money to get people to do things that they know aren't true. So here's another allegation of that. And where they're saying, hey, yeah, we'll give you $10,000 if you sell out Ilhan Omar, basically. And again, read the story for yourselves, you'll see the exact details. And we gave you some of those quotes. And so here, I'll give you another quote. Omar Jamal, who he had not previously met, that's Libman Osman had not previously met him, told him Project Veritas would pay him $10,000 to say he was harvesting ballots for Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. So Democrats, unfortunately, are not A, great at fighting back against these smears. B, they don't protect progressives. So if a right winger is smearing a progressive, Democratic leadership is generally happy to receive that smear. So they don't have our backs at all. And so, and this 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 has gone around the world a thousand times now. And and later, oh, by the way, a local uh, uh, station figured out they were offering ten thousand dollars for lies. And now will everyone equally say, oh, by the way, Project Veritas uh, again offered money to try to get someone to lie. Uh, and again, their uh, video was debunked. No, they're like Jacob Wall, they're, they're low grade hucksters. And unfortunately, the Republican Party has become one giant con job. So they're happy to receive them. This uneven playing field grossly manipulates the situation and makes politics even dirtier. Look, if you, if you go across now the country and you did a polling, now most people will not have seen the story at all. But for the people who have seen the story, how many will have seen it debunked? You'd be lucky if it was 10%. And that's why right wing billionaires fund Project Veritas. Because they know if we give them money and they lie on our behalf, the mainstream media will blow it up and everybody will believe that lie. By the time it's corrected, nobody will know the difference and, and nobody will see the correction. So that's how this game is played. And you know, yet the media goes along with it every time. So it's it's really sickening what happens. So if you ever hear anyone spreading that crap about this particular case about how Ilhan Omar was about a harvest balloting or anything along those lines, understand that the reality was it looks like they were trying to give money to get someone to lie about Ilhan Omar and they wouldn't even do it. And so highly manipulated as usual. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.